All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm here with my champion, my LRW superstar champion, Triple F. Uh, Triple F, I never really disliked you, okay? I, you know, we haven't always seen eye to eye, but uh, I suppose some of the attitude, some of the temperament was due to the fact that I've supported your opponents in previous matches. And uh, for that, I apologize. Now, um, what, is, what are your feelings about the about coming up against uh, Shane Saunders? I don't know. I mean, he's very skilled, so it's going to be pretty tough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him with the skills and everything. So it's, it's going to be pretty tough. It's going to be a very close one. It's, it's going to be a difficult match. Okay. Uh, Shane Saunders, he's got a reputation in the business as being one of the most skilled wrestlers in the business. He's got a huge fan following. Okay. Uh, I've got an idea about how to inspire you and how to really mess with Shane's mind during this match. Um, my buddy over here from New Hampshire who's refereeing the match, he's got this memorabilia. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Um, this stuff belongs to a young wrestler by the name of Ryan Kidd, okay? Take this, okay? This is what I want you to wear, okay? These are actually Ryan Kidd's ring-worn trunks. Ryan actually wore these. He auctioned them off. I was the high bidder in the auction. It was called the Ryan Kidd Fabric Free For All. I posted about it on my blog at lrwwrestling.com, okay? Now, if you go onto the internet, you can do a Google search for uh, Ryan Kidd, Tony Cozina, K-O-Z-I-N-A. Now, Triple F, this is totally relevant to what you're doing here because Ryan Kidd at the age of 16, he met up with this guy who had a huge amount of experience. He was a veteran. He was back in his 40s and he decided to actually turn what should have been a work into a shoot. He actually tried to injure Ryan Kidd and he had said before the match, Ryan, no matter what I do to you, no matter how many painful submission holds I put on you, I don't want you to tap out, okay? 16 year old kid was in that situation. I'll, I'll read to you what this says. This comes from, this comes from the examiner.com. The name of the article was Team Ambition and the Dirty Underbelly of Independent Pro Wrestling. You can look this up on the internet. It comes from the site called examiner.com. It says Ryan Kidd found himself in the middle of an out and out mugging when he, stopped, when he stepped into the ring with Tony Cozina. Cozina savaged him with full strength blows, pile drivers on the skull, and a full scale choke out to end a pre scripted match that went completely off script. Okay? 16 year old kid went through that and he never tapped out. So, look, besides, besides those tights, I want all kinds of Ryan Kid memorabilia, all right? We got the Ryan Kid rally towel go fight win, all right? We're gonna be messing with Shane Saunders' mind with that thing. We're gonna be putting up all of these posters, pictures, certificates. You see he's got Freddie Young here. I'm the acknowledged winner of this fabric free for all. I got all these pictures of Ryan Kidd. We're gonna have Ryan Kidd everywhere you look, okay? I want you to draw inspiration from this bro. Channel the spirit of Ryan Kidd. Don't be disheartened. Don't be intimidated by this guy, okay? Ryan Kidd was 16 years old. He went up a guy with a lot more skills than he had, and he never gave up. And this is the kind of attitude I want you to have. Channel the spirit of Ryan Kidd. Say, I am not going to submit. To be honest with you, you're going to have to endure a lot of pain in this match. I know you are. Shot Saunders is going to be putting you into a lot of painful submission holds. Be inspired by the example that this kid set. Don't submit no matter what you do. Can you promise me that? Promise. Maybe this is the start of a new relationship here between old Freddy and my champion Triple F. 
You know that bind I'm in. Dude, if he wins, it's over. He defends the belt in UCW. All the money goes to Body Slam and Axel. I'm totally cut out. There's no federation anymore, okay? So we can just call it quits if he wins. It's all up to you. If the federation is going to continue, if LRW is going to continue as we know it, you got to beat the guy, all right? all right? Find some way. You're smart, bro. You've been coming up time and time again with victories, holding on to that belt, using your intellect. This is what you got to do. You got to outthink this guy. He may have more skills than you. Don't be intimidated by that, all right? You got it. Thank you, bro. My hope. My hope for the Federation here. Triple F. Everybody, watch this match. This is going to be a great one. And it might be the last match that we ever produce. But I got faith in my guy here. I'm sure he's going to find a way to win. I always find a way to win, no matter what. That's the spirit. Thank you.